Hi Calvary Kids, it is good to be with you today. It's a little bit unfair because you get to see me, but I don't get to see you. I miss all of you. Last week we learned from God's Word about birds and how God takes care of birds and how He takes care of you and me. Today we are going to learn about something very, very small. Ants. So turn in your Bibles to the book of Proverbs 6 verse Proverbs 6 verse 6 Go to the ant, you sluggard Consider her ways and be wise I'm sure it won't take you long to find a row of ants working at your house Now these pesky ants have found their way to my wheelie bin And I'm not very happy about that Hmm. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider ways and be wise. To consider ants means that we should look at them and study them and marvel at the beauty of them and their strength. And we should think about how amazing they are and how they work. Ants work together to build these amazing structures. And we can learn from them and work together with the friends and the family that the Lord has given us. Ants, like these honeypot ants, take care of their young and their family. And we can be wise and learn from them and take care of the people that the Lord has given us. Ants work relentlessly and they never give up. If you walk past their home and you step on it, they don't fall down and throw a tantrum and cry. They will start building straight away. They never give up. And we should never give up. So what does the word sluggard mean? The word sluggard means lazy. You and I are often lazy to read our Bibles and pray. But that's not wise. If we want to be strong Christians, and if we want to have a good witness for the Lord Jesus on this earth, we have to work. We have to make time for God's word and grow as much as we can. We have to eat God's word as we eat bread daily. We have to pray in order to speak to God and to get to know him better and to grow in our relationship with the Lord. Don't be lazy. Be like the ant. Be wise and read your Bible and pray every single day. Proverbs 6 verse 6 Go to the ant, you slug it, consider her ways and be wise. Proverbs 6 verse 6 Among the many things that we can learn about ants, how hard they work, how diligent they are, how strong-willed and determined they are to carry on and on and on. There are some deeper spiritual things that we can learn from ants, and that is to prepare for the future. Ants work very hard to collect enough food in summer, and then they store it away for winter. We can become wise if we work hard and plan for our future. Matthew 24 Verse 42, watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. Jesus says, be prepared because you do not know what day your Lord is coming. And so just as ants are ready for the winter season where there are no food, we, you and me, we should be ready for the day that the Lord Jesus is coming back. Matthew 25. Jesus tells this very interesting parable about ten bridesmaids. And many of you know the story. Five of them were ready to meet the groom. But five of them, after waking up from a deep sleep, they realized the oil in their lamps were finished and they didn't have oil and there were no time for them to go to the shop, buy more oil, to have enough light to make it to the wedding feast. 
and so they were left behind. And it's the same for you and me. The Bible says in Matthew 25 verse 13, so stay awake and be prepared because you do not know the day or the hour of my return. And that's Jesus speaking. Jesus can come back any day and you and I have to be ready. Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? But how are we supposed to be ready for the return of Jesus? Can you think of some things? I know I'm ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's not because I am good or I'm being a good Christian or I deserve it in any, any way. No, I know I'm ready because I have put my complete and utter trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am prepared for the coming of Jesus, not because I'm a hard worker like the ant or because I'm a good person. I'm prepared because I have asked God to come into my life and save me from my sins. The Bible says that I cannot enter heaven with my sins. So Jesus took my place. I'm thankful for that. John 1 verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. So, since I can now go to heaven because of what Jesus did, I know that I'm prepared for when he returns. The good news is that you and I don't have to work hard like little ants to deserve our salvation. We get it as a free gift. And so you and I can be prepared for the day of the Lord. And that is good news indeed. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider ways and be wise. Proverbs 6 verse 6. Go to the ant. You slug it, consider ways, and be wise. Proverbs 6 verse 6.